This is a pretty tricky probability question, so let's read it carefully. There is 40% chance of rain on Saturday and 30% chance of rain on Sunday. However, it is twice as likely to rain on Sunday if it rains on Saturday than if it does not rain on Saturday. The probability that it's going to rain at least one day this weekend so at least one day this weekend, so either Sunday, either Saturday, or both days, this weekend is A over B, where A and B are relatively prime integers, and we wish to find A plus B. So how can we? Huh. Well, we wish to find the probability of it raining at least one day, at least one day, and it seems like it's going to be pretty tough to find the probability of raining just on Saturday, just on Sunday, or both days and adding them up. So let's just use complement. Let's do one minus probability of not raining at all. Not raining on Saturday and Sunday. Because probability of not raining on Saturday and Sunday should be one minus probability of raining one day because these two things are mutually exclusive and exhaustive, meaning that they cannot occur at the same time and only one of these can occur. So adding them up has to get probability of one or subtracting this has to, from one should get you the probability of at least one day. So, how can we compute this? Well, we wish to find 1 minus probability of not raining on Saturday and Sunday. Probability of not raining on Saturday is easy to find. What is that? Well, we know probability of raining on Saturday is 40%, so not raining has to be 60%. How about probability of not raining on Sunday? So we just have to multiply by probability of not raining on Sunday. Is this going to be 0.7 as we got 0.6? And the answer is no, not at all. If you do that, you're going to get the wrong answer. And why is that? Let, let me write this first before we analyze it. So we wish to find the probability of not raining on Sunday, given that it did not rain on Saturday, given that no rain on Saturday, no rain on Saturday, and realize that the probability of not raining on Sunday depends on whether it rained on Saturday or not, because the probability of raining on Sunday changes depending on whether it rained on Saturday. It is twice as likely to rain on Sunday if it rains on Saturday than if it does not rain on Saturday. So we gotta make sure we specify that it did not rain on Saturday. So we wish to find the probability of not raining on Sunday given that it did not rain on Saturday. That's very, very important. So the natural thing to ask is what is this statement? What is this statement exactly telling us? It's telling us there's 30% chance of rain on Sunday, but obviously the, it, it depends on whether it rains on Saturday or not. So how are we getting this 30%? What is the meaning of this 30%? We have to understand the fundamental nature of each of the elements if we want to make sure we can utilize them in a proper manner. Let's try to think of raining on Sunday as, as the union of two different elements, two mutually exclusive elements. So let's say this is probability of raining on Sunday. So let, let's represent it with this rectangle. And the two things can occur. It can either have rained on, rained on Saturday and it's raining on Sunday. So this is rain on Sunday, rain on Sunday. It, it either rained on Saturday or it did not rain on Saturday. And we know adding these two up is getting us 30%. So adding these two up is getting us 30%. So another way of thinking about it, probability of rain on Sunday and, and so this is and sign, and the probability of raining on Saturday plus probability of raining on Sunday and the probability of ra not raining on Saturday not raining on Saturday, not rain on Saturday, is 0 0.3. This is where 0 0.3, what 0 0.3 is telling us. That's how 0 0.3 can be calculated. So, now let's try to now let's try to break down these two probabilities. Probability of raining on Sunday 
and raining on Saturday and probability of raining on Sunday and not raining on Saturday. The first one, probability of raining on Sunday and rain on Saturday is going to be we have to rain on Saturday, which is simply 40%. So rain on Saturday is 40%. So let's write it down. So we know this part, this probability is 0.4 times the probability of rain on Sunday given that it rained on Saturday because this is going to change depending on whether it rained on Saturday or not. So we got to multiply it like this. Probability of the first thing times probability of the second thing given that the first thing occurred is the probability of both things occurring. And we wish to do plus probability of not raining on Saturday is 60% times probability of raining on Sunday given that it did not rain on Saturday and we know this is equal to 0 0.3. And what else do we know? They also told us something very important. They told us it is twice as likely to rain on Sunday if it rains on Saturday than if it does not rain on Saturday. So how can we represent that mathematically? That's telling us the probability of rain on Sunday, given that it rained on Saturday, given that it rained on Saturday, is equal to twice the probability of rain on probability of rain on Sunday, let's make sure I put P before the parenthesis, probability of rain on Sunday, given that no rain on Saturday, no rain on Saturday. And we can combine this equation and this equation because we know probability of rain Sunday, given rain Sunday, so this part is twice probability of rain Sunday, given that it does not rain on Saturday. So we know we know, why don't we write it like this? We have 0 0.4 times probability of rain Sunday given that it rains on Saturday is twice this. So let's make the substitution. 2 times probability of rain Sunday given that no rain Saturday plus 0 0.6 times the same probability probability of rain on Sunday given that not rain on Saturday. And this thing is simply, you have 0 0.8, another 0 0.6, 1.4 times probability of rain on Sunday, given that it does no, it does not rain on Saturday, and we know this is 0 0.3. So that's telling us that this probability of raining on Sunday, given that it does not rain on Saturday, is 0 0.3 over 14, 1.4 or simply 3 over 14. So we have found something very important. We know, we know, let's go back up, let me write this down. We know probability of rain on Sunday, given that it did not rain on Saturday, is equal to, is equal to what was it, 3 over 14? Yes, so 3 over 14. So let's write that down. So what do we wish to evaluate? F to evaluate the question that they are asking us, which is this question, we have to find this thing, probability of not raining on Sunday, given that it does not rain on Saturday, and we can find it. Because given that it, it did not rain on Saturday, probability of raining on Sunday is 3 over 14. So probability of not raining on Sunday, given that it did not rain on Saturday, which is what we wish to find, should be 1 minus this, because these two things make up the probability of not raining, uh, probability of something happening on Sunday, given that it rained, on, given that it did not rain on Saturday. So we know this thing has to be 1 minus 3 over 14, or 11 over 14. So now we can find the entire answer. Now we know, we can calculate this as 1 minus 0 0.6, 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 6 over 10, times 11 over 14. 6 over 10 is also known as 3 fifths, times 11 over 14. Multiplying gets us 33 over 70. Subtracting gets us, we have 37 on the top. So, we know A over B is 37 over 70, and we wish to find A plus B. So our final answer is 37 plus 70, or 107.